today's video, we will learn how to install MicroPython on our ESP32, and that's coming up right after the intro. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. Today you will learn how to install MicroPython onto our ESP32 and will even try to run our very first script on it. You'll firstly have to download a few programs to get going, so let's start with that. Firstly, Google for Python and download the latest version for Windows. Once downloaded, open up the exe and make sure before clicking install now, you should check the add python to path. This way you will be able to use python anywhere with your command line. Normally, pip should be installed as well, but in case it has not for you, go to this site. Link is in the description. And download get-pip.py by pressing Ctrl S and save this code to a de decent location because you will need to go to that location now. Personally, I created a ESP32 MicroPython folder for this. Next, type inside here cmd and press enter. Normally, your command line should open up. Now type python space get dash pip dot pi and press enter to install. Once completed, check if pip is installed by simply typing in pip space dash capital V and press enter. Next up, we will want to install the ESP, ESP tool by using pip. Type in pip install ESP tool and press enter. Once installed, simply type in ESP tool space version and press enter. And now you're ready to go and erase the flash from, e from your ESP32. Plug in your ESP32 and open your device manager. Search for ports and click on the arrow and normally there should be a USB serial port available. In my case this is COM5. Next type ESP tool space dash dash port COM5 erase underscore flash with of course your corresponding COM port and press enter. This will take a while and once completed we will need to install the new firmware that will be able to run MicroPython. Now Google for MicroPython firmware or copy the URL from the description down below, open the link and scroll down and click on ESP32 module and download the first one. Save this file to the previous location on your computer and go to that location using your file explorer. Now right click the downloaded bin file, click rename and copy the full name by pressing Ctrl and C. Next go back to your command line and type in ESP tool space dash dash port com5 write underscore flash space dash z 0x1000 and then copy in your link by pressing the right mouse button and press enter to install. Next, according to MicroPython themselves, we can try to work with REPL, read evaluate print loop. I do not really like using REPL, but it's very useful to immediately get a response from your ESP32 and know if something is wrong. So to make use out of REPL on Windows, I advise and prefer to use PuTTY. Now search for PuTTY on your browser and install this little helpful program. Once PuTTY is installed, search for it on your device, open it up and PuTTY will allow us to connect with our ESP32 and have, and have immediate response from it. To connect to the device, simply go to Session in the left tab and on the right side you should see 5 options. One of those will be Serial. Now select this option. Now above this, ch change your serial line to the correct port. In my case this is COM5. And set the speed to 115200 and click open. And normally a bunch of stuff should go on and you should be, e should be able to immediately write code and run to test it. So let's do two quick tests to check whether our ESP32 is running MicroPython code. Type in print hello world and press enter and there you have it. This code has been executed from your ESP32. But if you not fully believe it, let's try to turn on an LED. I am using the ESP32 SparkFun thing and this ESP32 has a built-in LED on pin number 5. If you want to test this, try to find out whether you have a built-in LED as well or hook one up by yourself. Now for the code, type in import machine pin equals to machine dot pin open 5 machine dot pin dot out and enter and next we can type pin dot on 
and press enter. And if done correctly, you will see the LED on pin number 5 turn on. And to turn it off, simply write off. If like me you don't like to write your code in PuTTY and prefer an IDE like Arduino to work in, then click on the link in the upper right corner where I explain how to work in the IED where you can easily write and check your code and update and upload it to your ESP32 more smoothly than this way. Please consider checking out my Patreon page as well, that would be awesome. There I upload all of my code with in-depth explanation of each video I ever created on this channel, link for that down below or on screen now. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.